My name is Ashley Anderson. Ashley is a typically British name, and yet I feel like a foreigner in this country where I've only just arrived. I was born in China 15 years ago, and that's where the most incredible and unbelievable of adventures began for me. It changed my whole life. My mother died a few months after I was born, and my father was left alone to fulfill the dream they both had, to build a hospital in China. It was their assistant, Uncle Sam, a Tibetan doctor, who raised me. <laughs> He became a second father to me very quickly. And now, to work! Dr. Anderson was much too busy with life at the hospital. Everything all right, son? He sometimes gave me the feeling that I didn't exist. <laughs> Uncle Sung, on the other hand, would always find a little time for me. Mm -hmm. He was as solid as a rock, untiring, and he never lost his good humor. The patients all loved him. Watch this, Ashley. His shoulder is dislocated. Ouch! It's fine now. Easy, huh? Mm. And that's how I lived between these two men. <laughs> And then there was Lin Fu, my best friend. <laughs> more fun than anything we learn at school. You know, Ashley, I wish these days would never end. Don't worry, Lin Fu. Nothing will ever separate us. <laughs> oh, this war. The Japanese army will be here before long. My heart is so sad, Ashley. No, the news is not good at all. Huh? Quickly, Ashley, to the shelter, that way! Ashley. In these terribly difficult times, white people like us are no longer welcome in this country. The danger is too great. You must leave. No, father. I want to stay here. Listen to me. Uncle Sung will take you through the mountains to India. From there you will go to England where your grandmother lives. What about you? I'm going to be needed here more than ever now. You have to leave, Ashley. No, father, please! Your mother would have wanted it. We left that same night. I had this terrible feeling that I would never see my father again. I was so choked up, 
I couldn't even say goodbye to Lin Fu. <laughs> a little coal dust and Uncle Song's handmade clothing, and you are a true Tibetan. As of now, I am Sanpo, your most respectful son. Perfect. No, it's too hot with this thing on. Sanpo, now you must remember two things. We are pilgrims on our way to Lhasa, and you are a mute. Yes, father. You must never forget. Never. Our journey through China would last several months, and conditions would become more and more difficult. The heat was overwhelming. The dust burned my eyes and my throat. The presence of the enemy made our trip even more dangerous. <laughs> Bunch of idiots! <laughs> all right, all right, everyone, move along. That's enough. Move on. The trip seemed endless, but Uncle Sung kept our spirits up. Listen, you must understand some Tibetan words. If not, you will seem to be an idiot. Great, thanks a lot. And you must learn the delicate customs of my country. For example, to blow our nose, we use our fingers. And you must spit very noisily. How was that? You need practice. To show good humor, you must click your tongue. Is that Tibet? Yes, over there. Careful though, for Tibetans, white people are devils, and no one hesitates to kill devil. Yeah, very, very strong. <laughs> All right, I will make trade. At the beginning of winter, we finally reached the foot of the Himalayas. In these remote regions, the people are suspicious and hostile. Except with pilgrims. But we had to take the chance of accepting their hospitality. Congratulations, your soup is very good tonight. Mm. Your companion has the blue eyes of a foreigner. Uh, um, uh, he's my son, Honorable Lama. He was born that way and he has never spoken. He is also extremely tall for someone from this country. His feet look like those of a yeti. <laughs> but his appearance does not really trouble me. This boy shall reign in the midst of the clouds. He shall be king, king of the cloud forest. Me? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Too much emotion. <laughs> Sorry. What about the yak? Yak too slow and too heavy to get through there. <sighs> the Lama understood, didn't he? Yes, and so did the others. But prediction of Lama made great impression. What could he have meant? The king of the cloud forest? I don't know. But it can only be good. In ten days, we will reach border with India. That path there will be very difficult, but it is the surest. Uncle Sung, what is a yeti? Not many have seen a yeti, but everyone fears him. They say he is twice as large as a man and as hairy as a bear. Have you ever seen one? No, only skin of yeti in monastery long time ago. Legend says that yeti kidnaps people and they never come back. But it's only a legend. Who knows? But you, you have big smelly feet like Yeti! <laughs> <laughs>
But you've been saying that for days. And I'm cold and I'm hungry. Come now, let's go on. Uncle Sam, look, a cabin. You see? You must never give up hope. There's nothing at all to eat. Here, tea will warm you up. Tomorrow, I will go and find food. There is village on other side of the pass. You will stay here, feet too frozen to walk. Come back soon. Do not let fire go out. I'm not hungry. I'm not hungry. I'm not hungry. I'm not hungry. Oh, oh it's a dog. Stop it! Quiet, you filthy beast! Get out of here! Uncle Sun has abandoned me! Everyone's abandoned me! But you won't get me that easily! I don't want to die here! Uncle Sun, come back! Please come back! Where is Uncle Sung? Hey, Uncle Sung! Can you see me? Father, Lin Fu, here I am, where are you? But what's this? I wasn't cold or hungry any longer. I was floating as if in a dream. Where am I? Is this the top of the world or am I already dead? The first thing I felt was their warm breath on my face. And a delicious smell of meat. Uh, grilled? Uh, uh, Yetis! Le -le. Uh, Le -le. He's talking! Jonah! Uh. Uh.
They had saved my life. But what were they going to do with me? Lily. This strange ceremony sent shivers up my spine. Uh-huh. Uh, Lily? Thank you. Was Lily the name of their god? Coronation of King Edward VII and Queen Alexandra. Price one shilling. I sensed they were waiting for me to react. I had to do something. How did this box get here? Could this young man be Lily? They must be mistaking me for him. There is a resemblance. Where is he now? And where is Uncle Sung? Ashley? Ashley! 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 Uncle Song? Uncle Song? Uh, thank you? Lily? Lily. And you? You red? Mm, Lily. And you there? Little red? <coughs> mm. <coughs> Your son sure is a little moody, isn't he? This is my kingdom. Little Red didn't come with us. He couldn't bear the idea of his father taking such good care of me. <sighs> you know, Red, this place is wonderful. This good, very nice. Huh? Well, what do you know? Very good. You speak my language? Mm. Lily must have taught them a few words. <laughs> what? I don't believe it! He doesn't know how to swim! Ha <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
That night, they had a celebration in my honor, and Red told the others what I had done. <laughs> Little Red was still angry at me, and now he felt ashamed, too. Oh, it's you, Little Red. Lili Maha. Maha, your friend. Thank you, friend. Thank you, Maha. When I think about the months I spent there, I'm amazed at how well I adapted to their primitive way of life. Me, a doctor's son. Their kindness and generosity made it much easier. <laughs> Fortunately, men know nothing about the true nature of Yetis. If they found out, nothing could protect them. Not their strength, not their secret world, not even the myth that surrounds them. Among the young Yetis, there was one that followed me wherever I went. She never let me out of her sight. I called her Shoo! Good catch. <laughs> I was already too attached to them. It would be hard leaving them. Harmony. Harmony. I like that word. Over there, people. No, no people, no people. Lily, friend, stay here always. Yes, of course. How could I ever find my way back anyway? I had really become one of them. But the way they almost worshipped me was a little frightening. Why, I don't believe it. Lily! Let me through. Go on, shoo! Lily, Maha! I have to go. Can't you understand? No, no! I love you all, but back in my world, I've got my best friend waiting for me. Her name is Lin Fu. And now let me through. No! Shoo! Ah. Oh! <gasps> shoo! Can you hear me? Wake up, please! I don't deserve your confidence. I'm not your Lily. I'm not a healer. Or a god you should worship. I'm just me. Me, Ashley. Lily is mad. You're right, Little Red. I've got to try and do something. Let's see, how did my father do it? I felt responsible. She had to recover. She had to. Time seemed to stand still. Rest now, Shu, and get well quickly. Go home now. Home. That word sounded so sweet. Uh, Liu. <laughs> 
Leo, Santo, Santo. Wolves had destroyed their entire herd. Winter was coming. They had to find other lambs. And lambs live with men. I asked to go with them. Little Red wanted to go too. Thank you, Whitebeard. I hope it brings luck. I finally had the possibility of finding my world again, although I felt sad and ashamed to leave them this way. back among people, but it was a high price to pay. I realized I would never see my friends again. And because of me, Little Red might be dead now. I felt heartbroken. My name is Ashley Anderson. Yes, I know. Uncle Sung! Oh, Ashley, my son, I have searched for you for so long, and I never gave up hoping. <laughs> I told him my story from beginning to end. Uncle Sun, they saved my life. They've got to be protected. When I saw immense tracks, I understood. I did not tell secret, and you must keep secret. Yes, yes, Yetis must remain legends. Someone was there before me. They called him... Lily. Uncle Sung told me that the hospital had been bombed and that my father hadn't survived. He had no news of Lin Fu. When I got to England, I started investigating. I learned that an English scientist had spent a long time in Tibet under very mysterious circumstances. And that was how one day, I found myself at the Lily residence. Sir Edward Lely, that is. Shortly before my brother Edward passed away, he showed me these strange drawings he had brought back. And I must confess that until today, to my great shame, they made me think he was deranged. Poor Edward. He said that the three years he spent with the Yetis were the happiest of his life. However, nobody here believed a word of what he said. Shoe. 